yesterday's debate with the Prime Minister, uh, I highlighted once again the Maderos family farm. They produce mushrooms for all of the city of Ottawa, but have been facing tens of thousands of dollars in monthly carbon tax bills alone. Now, the Prime Minister claimed that I had, had told the farm to stand on its own two feet. It's interesting that the Conservative leader is asking the government to help out the Maderos family farm now, because back in 2014, when the Maderos fan came to him uh, in government, uh, asked him for some support as they were trying to make investments, trying to continue to move forward, he told them that they needed to stand on their own two feet. And that's what he told that farm. When it was trying to bring natural gas to its uh, farm, and I, I, I couldn't I, I possibly understand what he was referring to, because of course I'd helped the farm. They, I dug up the quote and I said, uh, in re response to high energy prices, that the goal is to find a commercially viable way that this kind of project, natural gas for farms, can stand on its own two feet, pay for itself, and create some jobs. Now, from that moment, I went to Enbridge, which being a large multinational pipeline company had been, it'd been hard for a, an individual farmer to get on the phone. I got the executives on the phone. I told them why this pipeline was needed to take gas to the mushroom farm in order to generate the steam and the other power that's needed to produce mushrooms. And ultimately the project got done without any tax dollars and paid for itself because natural gas is significantly cheaper and less polluting than propane and oil.